Suppose you are holding your toy submarine under the water. You release it and it begins to ascend. The graph models the depth of the submarine as a function of time. What is the domain and range of the function in the graph? Well, the domain is a set of all possible inputs, which are always found along the horizontal axis. So in this case, the domain will be the set of all possible t values, where t is time. And the range is a set of all possible outputs, which are always found along the vertical axis. So in this case, the range is a set of all possible d values, where d is depth. So looking at the graph, notice how this point on the left, this point here, would have coordinates 0, comma, negative 5. So at this point, the input is 0 and the output is negative 5, which means at time 0, the depth is negative 5. And notice at this endpoint, the coordinates are 7, 0, which means after 7 seconds, the depth is equal to 0, which means the submarine is at the surface of the water. Because the inputs occur along the horizontal axis, we can determine the domain by analyzing the graph horizontally. And because the outputs occur along the vertical axis, we can determine the range by analyzing the graph vertically. If we consider the graph just from left to right, notice how at this point the input is 0. And then the function takes on all the values for t all the way out to this point here, where t equals 7, which means the domain is t greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 7. Another way to find the domain would be to project this graph onto the horizontal axis. If we project this onto the horizontal axis, notice how it would start at t equals 0 and go out to t equals 7. This interval here is a domain, t greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 7. And now to find the range, we can analyze the graph vertically. Notice how the submarine starts down here at a depth of negative 5, and then the outputs increase all the way to an input of 0 at this point, meaning the submarine is on the surface. And therefore, the range is d greater than or equal to negative 5 and less than or equal to 0. If we were to project this graph onto the vertical axis in this direction, notice how it would start at the output value of negative 5, and go up to the output value of 0. This is the reason why the range is d greater than or equal to negative 5 and less than or equal to 0. Before we go, I also want to show how to express these intervals using interval notation. This interval can also be expressed using interval notation as the closed interval from 0 to 7. So we'd have 0, 7 enclosed in square brackets. The square brackets indicate the two endpoints are included. The closed interval from negative 5 to 0 using interval notation would be negative 5 comma 0 in square brackets. So again, these are the same intervals. These intervals are using inequalities, and these intervals are using interval notation. I hope you found this helpful.